Hello sir, this is the video presentation for my final year project which is road traffic sign detection and recognition using computer vision techniques. The overview of the video presentation consists of the project objectives, the data set created, the methodology used to develop a traffic sign detection and recognition system, the features of the implemented system, the demonstration of the system, and the conclusion about the achievements. The project objectives are to create a Mauritian traffic sign data set to develop a road sign detection and classification using a Mauritian data set to adapt the system to Mauritian professional languages such as English and French and to create a user-friendly interface to support the system. The dataset created is an amalgamation of the German traffic sign recognition dataset and pictures of traffic sign taken in Mauritius. German dataset was chosen due to its variety of images for several signs that are present in Mauritius. To cater for the missing signs, pictures were taken from Mauritius scenes, that is, Mauritian traffic sign pictures, and added to the dataset. The methodology of the project consists of segmentation processes such as resizing, equalization, filtering, binarization, eroding image, and morphological image operation, which in this system is morphological gradient. The image is resized to cater for the different dimensions of images that are available by different devices. All are converted to a standard size to facilitate processing. The image resize to 50% of the half the original image. Equalization is the next step. Equalization is done to adjust contrast of an image and to cater for luminous conditions. The image is converted to YCR-CB color space and equalized and then converted back to BGO format so that it can be processed by computer vision techniques. The next step is filtering. Filtering is done to remove noises. Noises are random pixels that normally occur during image acquisition. They are normally white pixels. The filtering techniques are used, which is used in this project, is bilateral filtering. The image is then binarized, eroded with a kernel of 3x3, three three, and morphological gradient have been passed from the image with a kernel of 5x5. Five five. All these three operations have been made to fine-tune the image for the following processors, that is, detection processors. The next stage is detection. The first type of detection is color detection. Colors related to traffic signs are left in the image while all irrelevant colors are removed. Red and blue ranges are defined and added together to create a mask. And then this mask removes all unnecessary colors and only these two colors are left in the image. The next detection process is of the shape detection. It is done using the contours method. For each contour detected, its sides are defined and the coordinates are retrieved. To understand better about the shape detection method, let's go to the codes. 
we can see that if the length of the sites that have been detected in the controls is free, and we since the traffic signs are big nowadays, not nowadays, it was always big so that they can be clearly seen. So obviously by this fact, the area must also be big. Therefore, thresholding on the area is done. If a shape is found to be below the threshold while having the same shape and colors of a traffic sign, it is not taken into consideration. The same applies, this one is done for the triangle because triangle has three sides and it is also a traffic sign shape. The same is done when the length is, actually, is approximately four. That is, the number of sides is considered to be four and it sh the area should be above the threshold area, which can be considered to be either a square or a rectangle. And this also applies to shapes that have length of eight, which can be assumed to be either a circle or an octagon with the area being above the threshold area. If all those criteria are met, that is, if it is either a triangle, a square, a rectangle, or a circle, or an octagon, it will retrieve the coordinates and the detected shape will be cropped. The next stage is classification. The data set is first split into two parts. 80% of the training data is used for that is 80% of the data is used for training and 20% of the data is used for testing. Then the model is created using CNN, Convolutional Neural Network, with softmax activation. Due to 35 types of traffic signs that are trained. And finally, the predict sign function is used to classify the sign. Using this code, the model is trained. We can see that it has used 20 epochs. That is, it is the number of time the whole data set is processed with a batch size of 64. That is the number of trading data in a single batch. The first epoch yields a good accuracy. Not that high, but not that low either. But as the training goes by, we can see that the accuracy increases, which shows that the model was successfully trained with an accuracy which is quite high. The implemented system is accompanied with an interface. The interface have several features. The interface can allow a user to upload image or multiple images at the same time. It also has the feature of being able to classify motion traffic signs correctly, giving the names and a description. It can also associate each traffic signs within their respective categories, such as prohibition, warning, compulsory, direction, informative, and so on. It also output results in audio format as well as in written format. The similarity score of each image is up also uploaded and given as a result with the image uploaded. The processing time is also calculated to account for the efficiency of the system. And the system is also a bilingual system to adapt it to the motion culture. Let's go to the demonstration of the system.
So here's the interface of the system. We can see that there's a sidebar here, but we have a drop down box where we can again allow the user to choose the preferred language that he wants. We have two options that is one English and one French. Let us stick to English first. This is some information about the categories of the traffic signs. That is, if in the result we see that a red square has been outputted, we can see we can conclude that it is a prohibition sign. The symbol of the compulsory, which is represented by a blue one, purple is priority, yellow is warning, orange is parking, green is direction, and brown is informative. Now let's try to input an image. No entry. We can hear that here the output in voice format has already said that it's a no entry sign, and we can see we can see that in written form it is a no entry as well. Since we have a red square, we can conclude that it is a prohibition sign. Here we have a button that displays some details about the segmentation and detection part, and of course the classification one. So we can see the recite one, how it has been equalized, the filtered one, the binarized one, the eroded, and how only the traffic sign shape is detected quite well. Here we can see that it belongs to the prohibition sign correctly identified by the red square. It is a no entry sign and a small description that we are not allowed to pass through. We have a similarity score of 100% and a processing time of 0 0.98, which is very efficient. Now let us check another feature, which is importing multiple images. Let us try to pedestrian crossing ahead. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Giveaway sign. Giveaway sign. So we can see that the two images have correctly been identified. Here is a in the input image we have a pedestrian crossing, which is of course a yellow one, which is a warning sign, and a giveaway sign, which is a priority regulation sign. Now we will try another one where. Two signs in a single image. No entry for pedestrians. No entry. As we can hear that he said no she said no entry for pedestrians and no entry is having correctly classified. Both of these images have correctly classified with the correct categories of traffic signs for both. Now let us try to change the language of the system. We'll change it to French. As we can see all the text that appeared here and in the informative bar, we can see that all have been translated to French. Now let us try to run an image to see how it works. Arrêt et stationnement interdit. Arrêt et stationnement interdit is the result for this one. And as we can see, that it is signe de régulation du stationnement. And it has correctly been classified. To conclude, we can see that the objectives to create a motion traffic sign dataset to develop a road sign detection and classification using a motion dataset to adapt the system to motion professional languages, that is English and French, and to create a user-friendly interface all have been successfully implemented. Now we come to the end of the video presentation. I would like to express my deep gratitude to my supervisor who helped me very much in the achievement of this project. Thank you.